Hello, everyone who gets the opportunity to watch this little piece of spontaneity. Because I was supposed to have a call with a friend of mine, but she's late and the lighting's not great. And I was going to just not do anything. And then I just thought, whatever. We were going to have a conversation about this um, workspace that she goes to, this co-working space that she goes to, and how she loves it so much. Like, she can't... It's like her new boyfriend. It's all she wants to talk about. I'm just joking. <laughs> it's kind of like with me and Plasma, kind of. Like... If you're going to know me for any length of time, you're going to hear about Plasma. And my friend is like that with this uh, co-work space that she goes to. And it made me think of the one that I'm creating here. <laughs> that I'm now moving from. So, uh, I'll just talk about my experience briefly here with what I'm creating. So I basically have set myself up an apothecary kitchen. So it's like a minimalist um, alchemist um, workshop in a way. And I've mostly just experimented like straight across the board with different things, doing things different ways, like super old school tinctures with you're just, you know, macerating it and it's just soaking in a jar literally <laughs> or grinding it up into a finer powder and um, also doing like you know alcohol distilling like on a really super small scale to just have the experience of it and learning different ways of filtering different herbs depending on what you're doing and so it's super modular and functional not just to carry on that kind of work but also for doing um, uh, balms like making t um, solves like uh, beeswax with shea butter for example which I have and essential oils which there's a small stock of here so um, and the kitchen is really set up more like on kind of an uh, um, industrial sort of um, visual. So it's just metal racking with really good ceiling containers and things that are really modular. A lot of things that nest into each other. Um, different kinds of double boilers for doing extracts, tinctures, or balms. So metal or glass depending I really did sort of a full suite of different things so it's all set up with that in mind and uh, yeah what I'd love to do is kind of uh, pass this on in some way shape or form uh, including the studio um, to incorporate these two things together which was our next like the next evolutionary step in the space that we've begun to create here in Luang Prabang, which will continue in the next location, starting from the beginning, in a way, <laughs> um, to create something like this in Chepas, uh, and to share that same kind of spirit of... Um, living uh, with the people that I meet along the way and the friends that I'm going to be reconnecting with back in Canada as I uh, travel to Chiapas and um, really looking forward to reconnecting haven't been back in Canada in seven years and uh, so that's going to be a really interesting time coming up and I'm excited to share the journey and all the plasma I'll be drinking on the way. <laughs>
All right. Ciao.